a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Sachin Tendulkar Sachin Ramesh Tendulkar is a former Indian cricketer and a former captain. Regarded as one of the greatest batsmen of all time, the highest run scorer of all time in international cricket, Tendulkar took up cricket at the age of 11, made his test debut on 15 November 1989 against Pakistan in Karachi at the age of 16, and went on to represent Mumbai domestically and India internationally for close to 24 years. He is the only player to have scored 100 international centuries, the first batsman to score a double century in a one-day international, the holder of the record for the most number of runs in both Odi and Test cricket, and the only player to complete more than 30,000 runs in international cricket. In 2002, halfway through his career, Wisden Cricketers' Almanac ranked to him the second greatest Test batsman of all time, behind Don Bradman, and the second greatest Odi batsman of all time, behind Viv Richards. Later in his career, Tendulkar was a part of the Indian team that won the 2011 World Cup, his first win in six World Cup appearances for India. He had previously been named Player of the Tournament at the 2003 edition of the tournament, held in South Africa. In 2013, he was the only Indian cricketer included in an all-time Test World XI named to mark the 150th anniversary of Wisden Cricketers' Almanac. Tendulkar received the Arjuna Award in 1994 for his outstanding sporting achievement. The Rajiv Gandhi Keel Ratna Award in 1997, India's highest sporting honour, and the Padma Shri and Padma Vibhushan Awards in 1999 and 2008, respectively, India's fourth and second highest civilian awards. After a few hours of his final match on 16 November 2013, the Prime Minister's office announced the decision to award him the Bharat Ratna, India's highest civilian award. He is the youngest recipient to date, and the first ever sportsperson to receive the award. He also won the 2010 Sagarfield Sobers Trophy for Cricketer of the Year at the ICC Awards. In 2012, Tendulkar was nominated to the Raja Sabha, the Upper House of the Parliament of India. He was also the first sportsperson and the first person without an aviation background to be awarded the honorary rank of Group Captain by the Indian Air Force. In 2012, he was named an honorary member of the Order of Australia. In December 2012, Tendulkar announced his retirement from Odis. He retired from 2020 cricket in October 2013, and subsequently retired from all forms of cricket on 16 November 2013 after playing his 200th Test match against the West Indies in Mumbai's Wankhead Stadium. Tendulkar played 664 international cricket matches in total, scoring 34,357 runs. Early years Tendulkar was born at Nirmal Nursing Home in Dardas, Bombay on 24 April 1973. His father, Ramesh Tendulkar, was a well-known Marathi novelist and his mother, Rajni, worked in the insurance industry. Ramesh named Tendulkar after his favorite music director, Sachin Dev Berman. Tendulkar has three elder siblings, two half-brothers Nitin and Ajit, and a half-sister Savita. They were Ramesh's children from his first marriage. Tendulkar played as a youngster with his brother, Ajit, for Sahitya Sahawas Society's cricket team at Bandar East. Ajit is credited by Sachin for playing a pivotal role in his life. Ramakant Akrikar was impressed with Tendulkar's talent, and advised him to shift his schooling to Sharadashram Vidya Mandir High School, a school at Dada which had a dominant cricket team and had produced many notable cricketers. Prior to this, Tendulkar had attended the Indian Education Society's New English School in Bandra. 
He was also coached under the guidance of Akri Kar at Shivaji Park in the mornings and evenings. Tendulkar would practice four hours on end in the nets. If he became exhausted, Akri Kar would put a one rupee coin on the top of the stumps and the bowler who dismissed Tendulkar would get the coin. If Tendulkar passed the whole session without getting dismissed, the coach would give him the coin. Tendulkar now considers the 13 coins he won then as some of his most prized possessions. He moved in with his aunt and uncle, who lived near Shivaji Park during this period, due to his hectic schedule. Meanwhile, at school, he developed a reputation as a child prodigy. He had become a common conversation point in local cricketing circles, where there were suggestions already that he would become one of the greats. Sachin consistently featured in the school team in the Matunga Gujarati Siva Mandal Shield. Besides school cricket, he also played club cricket, initially representing John Bright Cricket Club in Bombay's Premier Club Cricket Tournament the Kanga League, and later went on to play for the Cricket Club of India. In 1987, at the age of 14, he attended the MRF Pace Foundation in Madras to train as a fast bowler. But Australian fast bowler Dennis Lilly, who took a world record 355 test wickets, was unimpressed, suggesting that Tendulkar focus on his batting instead. On 20 January 1987, he also turned out as substitute for Imran Khan's side in an exhibition game at Braybourne Stadium in Bombay to mark the Golden Jubilee of Cricket Club of India. A couple of months later, former Indian batsman Sunil Gaviskar gave him a pair of his own ultralight pads and consoled him to not get disheartened for not getting the Bombay Cricket Association's Best Junior Cricket Award, it was the greatest source of encouragement for me. Tendulkar said nearly 20 years later after surpassing Gavis Carr's world record of 34 test centuries, Sachin served as a ball boy in the 1987 Cricket World Cup, when India played against England in the semi-final in Bombay. In his season in 1988, Tendulkar scored a century in every innings he played. He was involved in an unbroken 664-run partnership in a Lord Harris Shield inter-school game against St. Xavier's High School in 1988 with his friend and teammate Vinod Kambli, who would also go on to represent India. The destructive pair reduced one bowler to tears and made the rest of the opposition unwilling to continue the game. Tendulkar scored 326 in this innings and scored over a thousand runs in the tournament. This was a record partnership in any form of cricket until 2006, when it was broken by two under-13 batsmen in a match held at Hyderabad in India. Early domestic career on 14 November 1987, Tendulkar was selected to represent Bombay in the Ranji Trophy, India's premier domestic first-class cricket tournament, for the 1987-88 season. However, he was not selected for the final 11 in any of the matches. Though he was often used as a substitute fielder, he narrowly missed out on playing alongside his idol Gaviskar, who had retired from all forms of cricket after the 1987 Cricket World Cup. A year later, on the 11th of December 1988, aged 15 years and 232 days, Tendulkar made his debut for Bombay against Gujarat at home, and scored 100 not out in that match, making him the youngest Indian to score a century on debut in first-class cricket. He was handpicked to play for the team by the then Bombay captain Dilip Vengsakar after watching him easily negotiating India's best fast bowler at the time, Kapil Dev, in the Wankhede Stadium Nets, where the Indian team had come to play against the touring New Zealand team. He followed it by scoring a century in his first Diodar and Duleep trophies, which are also Indian domestic tournaments. Tendulkar finished the 1988-89 season as Bombay's highest run scorer. 
He scored 583 runs, at an average of 67.77, and was the sixth highest run scorer overall. He also made an unbeaten century in the Irani Trophy match against Delhi at the start of the 1989-90 season, playing for the rest of India. Sachin was picked for a young Indian team to tour England twice under the Star Cricket Club banner in 1988 and 1989. In the famous 1990-91 Ranji Trophy final, in which Haryana defeated Bombay by two runs after leading in the first innings, Tendulkar's 96 from 75 deliveries was a key to giving Bombay a chance of victory as it attempted to chase 355 from only 70 overs on the final day. His first double century was for Mumbai while playing against the visiting Australian team at the Brayborn Stadium in 1998. He is the only player to score a century on debut in all three of his domestic first-class tournaments. Another double century was an innings of 233 against Tamil Nadu in the semi-finals of the 2000 Ranji Trophy, which he regards as one of the best innings of his career. Yorkshire In 1992, at the age of 19, Tendulkar became the first overseas-born player to represent Yorkshire, which prior to Tendulkar joining the team, never selected players even from other English counties, selected for Yorkshire as a replacement for the injured Australian fast bowler Craig McDermott, Tendulkar played 16 first-class matches for the county and scored 1070 runs at an average of 46.52. Early career Raj Singh Dungapur is credited for the selection of Tendulkar for the Indian tour of Pakistan in late 1989, after one first-class season. The Indian Selection Committee had shown interest in selecting Tendulkar for the tour of the West Indies held earlier that year, but eventually did not select him, as they did not want him to be exposed to the dominant fast bowlers of the West Indies so early in his career. Tendulkar made his test debut against Pakistan in Karachi in November 1989 aged 16 years and 205 days. He made 15 runs, being bowled by Wakar Yunus, who also made his debut in that match but was noted for how he handled numerous blows to his body at the hands of the Pakistani pace attack. In the fourth and final test in Sialco, he was hit on the nose by a bouncer bowled by Eunice, but he declined medical assistance and continued to bat even as he gushed blood from it. In a 20-over exhibition game in Peshawar, held in parallel with a bilateral series, Tendulkar made 53 runs off 18 balls, including an over in which he scored 27 runs off leg spinner Abdul Qadir. This was later called, one of the best innings I have seen, by the then Indian captain Krishnamachari Srikanth. In all, he scored 215 runs at an average of 35.83 in the Test Series, and was dismissed without scoring a run in the only one-day international he played. Thus Sachin Tendulkar became the youngest player to debut for India in Tests at the age of 16 years and 205 days and also the youngest player to debut for India in Odis, at the age of 16 years and 238 days. The series was followed by a tour of New Zealand in which he scored 117 runs, at an average of 29.25 in tests including an innings of 88 in the second test. He was dismissed without scoring in one of the two one-day games he played, and scored 36 in the other. On his next tour, a summer tour to England of 1990, on 14 August, he became the second youngest cricketer to score a test century as he made 119 not out in the second test at Old Trafford in Manchester, an innings which contributed to a draw and saved India from certain defeat in the match. Wisdom described his innings as a disciplined display of immense maturity 
and also wrote, he looked the embodiment of India's famous opener, Gavaskar, and indeed was wearing a pair of his pads, while he displayed a full repertoire of strokes in compiling his maiden test hundred. Most remarkable were his offside shots from the back foot. Though only 5 feet 5 inches tall, he was still able to control without difficulty short deliveries from the English pace men. Tendulkar further enhanced his reputation as a future great. During the 1991-92 tour of Australia held before the 1992 Cricket World Cup, that included an unbeaten 148 in the third test at Sydney, making him the youngest batsman to score a century in Australia. He then scored 114 on a fast-bouncing pitch in the final test. At Perth against a pace attack comprising Merv Hughes, Bruce Reed, and Craig McDermott, Hughes commented to Alan Border at the time that, this little prick's going to get more runs than you, A.B. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?